Okay, so we're looking at polynomial division here. Now, if you haven't watched the video on long division yet, go back and watch that. Otherwise, this isn't going to make a lot of sense. If you have watched it and you know how to do long division now, this is going to be really straightforward. So we've set it up in the same way that we would long division because it's this divided by this. It's this divided by that. Now, I just need to show you something real quick. The first step in long division is asking, does 11 go into 2? Now, another way to say, does 11 go into 2 is, can 2 be divided by 11? And no, it can't. Can 25 be divided by 11? Yes, it can. 25 divided by 11, you get 2 with some kind of remainder. All right, that's what we really need to focus on here. So, when it comes to polynomial division, you do all of this, but your first step only deals with the x. Forget the plus 1 for now. All right. So, we ask ourselves, can 3x cubed be divided by x? Hmm, let's think about that. Can 3x cubed be divided by x? Yes, it can. And the answer is 3x squared. So, we write the answer, 3x squared, up here. Now, once you're used to this, it gets a lot faster. 3x cubed divided by x is 3x squared. All right, and then we do this. This times this, so 3x squared times x is 3x cubed. And then we do it again with that next one, 3x squared times 1, which is uh, 3x squared. All right, and then we subtract all of that one from the other. Now, this first term, if you've done everything correctly, 3x cubed minus 3x squared, it's always going to be 0. There's always going to be a 0 there if you've done it right. If you've done it wrong, then something else is going to appear there. 2x squared minus 3x squared is going to be negative x squared. And just like long division, we drag that next thing down. In this case, negative 5x. All right, and then we the process repeats over and over and over again. So negative x squared divided by x. I can do it over here. Negative x squared divided by x. That's just going to be negative x x. Again, you can do that in your head. Negative x. Negative x times x is going to be negative x squared. Negative x times positive 1 is going to be negative x. Okay, and we subtract one from the other. You need to be careful with these subtractions because there's going to be negatives and positives everywhere. Negative x squared minus minus x squared is the same as negative x squared plus x squared. Now again, if you've done this correctly, this first thing should always be a zero. They should always cancel each other out. Negative 5x minus minus x is the same as negative 5x plus x, which is negative 4x. And then drag the next one down, plus 1. Okay, negative 4x divided by x. You can do it over here like I've been doing, but negative 4x divided by x is just negative 4. And then again, we do this negative 4 times x, which is going to be negative 4x. Negative 4 times positive 1 is going to be negative 4. All right, and we subtract one from the other. Now again, negative 4x minus minus 4x. If you've done everything correctly, this should be 0. And then positive 1 minus minus 4 is the same as positive 1 plus 4, which is plus 5. Now, we are finished. But what does this mean? What does all of this mean? What does 3x cubed plus 2x squared minus 5x plus 1 divided by x plus 1 equals 3x squared minus x minus 4 with a remainder of 5 mean? So it means that when I divide them by each other, my answer, so this, is equal to the thing I found, 3x squared minus x minus 4 with a leftover bit, the number 5 plus 5, that I really would like to be able to divide by x plus 1, but I couldn't manage it. So, that's what this polynomial division means. It means that when I divide this by this, I'm going to get an answer of this, and then if there's a remainder, gee, I wish I could divide it by x plus 1. So I'm just going to say I've got a remainder, and it still needs to be divided by that x plus 1. Now, something very special happens when you don't have a remainder, it means you don't get all this junk on the end. And it also means that you're going to be able to do something pretty special. But that's for the next video. Practice this. You can't do the special thing unless you practice this.